You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, to help you prepare for the FE Exam, we are going to calculate links and arcs in a road transportation network. This problem type might be found in the transportation engineering section of the FE Exam. This problem was created and solved by engineer in training Enrique Ivers and is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. The problem covered in this video is an example of a problem that might not be really complex, it might not have hard calculations you have to do, but it does require you to understand the basic nomenclature and have an overall understanding of the concept that is being provided. So in this problem we're looking at the structure of transportation networks, specifically within the transportation engineering section of the civil FE. So in this problem we're shown the table on the right. It's giving us data. We have five data columns and five data rows. And those columns and rows represent the five nodes or intersections in a transportation network. And we're asked what the total number of links and arcs are. Um, and we're given the options of option A, five links and two arcs, option B, six links and one arc, option C, five arcs and two links, and option D, six arcs and one link. So in order to answer this question, we need to create a graphical representation for the transportation network created by the connection matrix. But in order to do that, we need to know the definition of terms that we'll use. We need to know what a link is. We need to know what an arc is. And really, we need to know how to read that table. And we need to know what nodes are. So starting at the very beginning, nodes are the points of connection, or you can think of them as intersections. Links and arcs are both connections. They link nodes together, uh, but they are distinct from each other. So links are bidirectional connections, whereas arcs are unidirectional connections. You can think of a link as being a two-way street, whereas an arc is a one-way street. In the table to the right, a bidirectional connection, or a link, is indicated by the positive number one. An arc, a unidirectional connection, is indicated by the negative number one. The number zero, as you might have guessed, indicates that there is no connection between the two nodes, and then a hyphen is shown where a connection is not applicable. For instance, a node cannot connect to itself. We'll start with the first node, number one. And we see that there are links to nodes two and four. Those are bidirectional, so we know that those are links. There's also an arc from node number five. We see that this is an arc because the number one is negative in the column for node five. Therefore, the connection, an arc, is unidirectional and originating from node five and going towards node one. So that's where we know where the arc originates from and where it terminates. Being done with node number one, we can move on to node number two. We see that it has a bidirectional connection to node number four already present on the map that we're drawing out. Node number two also has a link to node number three. That node doesn't exist yet on our map, so we will add it to the graphical representation. Now we're done with node number two. We'll move on to node number three and do the same thing. 
we know that there's a link missing to node number five. And since we've already done node number two, we've already accounted for the link between nodes two and three. For node number four, we see that there's an arc going from node number four and terminating at node five, and we will add this unidirectional connection. We've completed all of the connections. There's no other nodes that node five can connect to, so we can now count the number of links and arcs. We see that there are five links between nodes one and two, nodes one and four, nodes two and three, nodes two and four, and nodes three and five. So those are five links total. There are also two arcs from node four to node five and from node five to node one. So we have five links and two arcs and going back to our options, we see that option A shows our network with five links and two arcs. Note that it can be really, really easy to see the five and two in option C, and maybe you have the definitions of nodes and arcs confused. So understanding the nomenclature and taking the extra few seconds during the exam to remember to breathe and remember to look at the answer options that are presented, you really wanna make sure that you select the choice that you intend to. So in this case, option A is the correct answer, and that's the one we wanna go with. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. You have to keep doing those problems to pass this exam. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below this video. I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.